had a lot of success around the basket tonight. Was that one of your plans of attack going into the game to kind of push it inside and just see what happens? Um, you know, like we said, we're just trying to uh, explore possessions to find the best shots we can. Uh, Shea was obviously able to get downhill tonight. Um, you know, we, we pushed Al's button a couple times uh, to get him a couple post-ups just to give him some balance to his game. He's obviously done a great job popping for us. But, you know, other than that, we're just trying to play with pace and open the floor up and then try to find the best shots, you know, whatever those are on a given night. Tonight, they happen to be in the paint and at the rim. Uh, other nights, they're jump shots. So, you know, we'll just take them. Joe Masato, the Oklahoman. Mark, you guys outscored them 37 to 18 in the third quarter. What worked so well offensively and defensively coming out of that the first half? I mean, obviously the game got dicey a little bit early and, you know, I, by no fault of, of anybody's, I just didn't think we had the best energy uh, in the first quarter, especially. Um, and then we came out of halftime, we kind of committed to, to having a different level of energy on offense and on defense. And the guys did an unbelievable job. All 10 guys uh, that touched the floor in the third did an unbelievable job of, of amping it up a little bit. And, you know, I thought that was the outcome, obviously. Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Yeah, Coach, just to kind of ask a little bit more about that offense, you have about three, you had three players who recorded season high and then six players um, in double figures. What did you make just of the balanced scoring that your group showed tonight? Yeah, I mean, I thought we just moved it. You know, we did a really good job of, of playing with pace and attacking uh, and then sharing the ball and playing the right way. You know, we have a team that's, uh, really well intentioned, you know, and we're not going to be perfect all the time, but we're certainly well intentioned. And, um, you know, they did a great job of moving it and sharing it tonight and taking what was available. Um, you know, the testament to how they, how they play the game. Andrew Schlecht down to dunk. Steve Nash said that his team quit after they got up 15. Uh, what do you do to keep your team engaged when you are down big early in a game? It's a 48-minute game, you know. It's a 48-minute game for everybody. You know, you're zero and zero to start. Ball goes up in the air, and then you play 48, you know, and every night's different. Every game's different. Uh, it's hard to sustain energy through a long season. It's hard to sustain consistency through a long season. That's why we're, you know, so focused on that day after day is just generating energy, you know, becoming consistent in our execution and in, in how we play the game. You know, and you just do that for 48 minutes. You know, I think, you know, when in these games where we've been down 30 in the fourth quarter, you know, we still want to run through the finish line and be consistent because the, the scoreboard's on and the clock's running, and that's part of competing. Nick Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Uh, Mark, a lot of attention uh, gets put on Shea's just craftiness, ability to finish around people, but he, he takes contact, too, quite a bit and, and picks himself up off the ground. Can you just speak to maybe his preparation with his body and, and ability to accept that contact and continue trucking? I mean, it, there's no one more committed. You know, he's a real worker. And uh, I thought he did a great job with his body in the offseason, as short as it was. Um, you know, he re really was focused uh, when he was home. And he's lifting right now, you know, if it's a normal night. I don't know that a, I, I saw him tonight, but... He lifts post game, you know, and a lot of our guys do that. You know, they're committed to finding the time to make investments, whether that's their recovery, whether that's, um, you know, loading after games like this and, and putting the work in. And so he takes hits and he took a hard one there in the fourth. Um, but, you know, the thing, like you said, that stands out about him is just his work capacity and, and how committed he is. And I would say that's something that's pretty universal inside of our team. Back to Joe Masato. Mark, uh, Al Horford uh, set a season high in scoring. Um, I, I know you said Mike Muscala was, was available, but you went with Isaiah Roby as the backup center. Can, and he, he seemed like he played well as also. Can you just talk about um, what Horford and Roby gave you at that position? Yeah, I mean, Al was really good tonight. You know, he had a really good balance. He mixed in uh, roles, and we obviously mixed in some post-ups for him. Um, and he, he shot the ball well again. You know, he's, he's definitely a threat out there. And the threat of him shooting and Isaiah and Mike opens the paint up for those other guys to attack. You know, I thought Isaiah did a really good job responding tonight. You know, he even played great in his first stint 
Uh, and he just kind of stuck with it. You know, didn't make excuses. He just kind of got to work and he had a really, really good stretch in the third and fourth quarter. Um, if that was a planned, uh, Mescala was available. If we needed him, we would have played him. Um, but like I've told you guys before, you know, we're trying to explore the team. We really like Isaiah. We really like all these guys and we want to take looks at them. Um, and we're not going to, you know, set anything in stone. And, you know, we had talked to Mike a couple of days back about finding a game uh, to do this and get Isaiah out there. And we thought tonight was a good game to do it. But if we needed him, he would have gone in there. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Rylan Styles, Locked on Thunder. Uh, Coach, how much did Shea and Baisley's communication with you uh, prompt you to challenge that foul call against Baisley on Kevin Durant? I mean, that, that's the reason I did it. You know, um, it's hard to get the replays on the road and it's hard to get the replays in time. Um, so I, once I saw the play, I knew it was close. I, I called Bays over, um, you know, and, and wanted to get the truth uh, of what happened. And, you know, he did a great job of kind of composing himself and, you know, he was upset about the call and he, he did a great job of communicating it, but those two guys, that's why I did it.